dear students this is uh, the pattern given for uh, hsc board examination paper of applied electronics paper 1 this pattern or this format of the question paper is followed for all types of examination including march and october examination in this you will see that there is question number 1a it contains select correct alternatives and rewrite the following sub questions four marks it contains four fill in the blanks type questions each question is given with four options like this and out of them you have to select only one option and rewrite the sentence now question 1b consists of attempt any two of the following six marks so every question contains 10 marks 6 marks here plus 4 marks here question 2 also has the same pattern attempt any two of the following six marks three options are given out of them you have to select two you have to solve two only question 2b contains only one question to be answered it has two options given here Uh, four marks so question 2 also carries in all 10 marks question 3 attempt any two attempt any one a and b for 10 marks question 4 attempt any two six marks question 4b four marks attempt any one question 5a attempt any two of the following six marks question 5b attempt any one of the following four marks now there is one interesting thing here is that question 5 has complete or given here this one <clears throat> so you can either solve the question 5 about this question or you can go for this question only but you cannot solve some part of this question and some part of this question this is not allowed so in all this question paper carries 50 marks and this is for paper 1 that is applied electronics now similarly digital electronics paper 2 also has the same pattern here question 1 a four marks it contains four fill in the blanks and uh, out of them out of each question the four options are given and out of these four options you have to select only one option question 1b attempt any two of the following six marks question 2a attempt any two of the following six marks question 2b attempt any one of the following four marks question 3a question 3b same pattern is repeated here and in this uh, question paper also you will see that question 5a and question 5b these uh, two questions together carry 10 marks 6 marks and 4 marks here and this question also has the complete or given so you can either solve this question completely this lower question or you can solve this upper five question number five question but you cannot solve some part of this question and some part of this question that is not allowed and if at all if you solve some part of this question for example if you solve this question explain the working of counter type analog to digital converter with meet table diagram and if you solve these two questions out of the lower question 5a then uh, the question which is solved and which carries higher marks will only be used in counting and the marks which are lower for that question will not be counted in your final marks so these are the two question paper patterns and uh, these will be helpful to you for the preparation of this coming 
HSC board examination for vocational electronics. Thank you.